Welcome to Imperial College London. We've put together this video to walk you through the IT resources at Imperial, from connecting to the Wi-Fi, saving your files, and accessing online learning tools. To use our computing facilities, you'll need to activate your college account. You can do this before you arrive. You'll need your CID number, which can be found on your college acceptance letter. When you're ready, go to this page and follow the instructions. Now that you have your username and password, you'll be able to access the college network. If you want to use our free Wi-Fi, which is available on all campuses, look for Imperial-WPA wireless network on your device. To connect, enter your college username and password. If you're staying in halls, then you'll need to connect to the network using an Ethernet cable. Once plugged in, open a browser and follow the registration steps. If you need a cable, we have a limited number in ICT which you can pick up for free. See our contact details at the end of this video. We provide Wi-Fi in the public spaces in halls so that everyone can benefit. It's important that you don't connect your own wireless router. Log into Microsoft Outlook with your username, followed by at ic.ac.uk and your college password to access your emails. To access your academic timetable online, search timetabling on the college website or download the Imperial mobile app. The app also allows you to access your emails, library account information, campus maps and much more. Remember to opt in to push notifications to receive alerts from the college. To make life easier for you, we also give you access to personal cloud-based storage on OneDrive for Business, meaning you can access your work securely from any device, anywhere and at any time. We use Blackboard to store learning material online. Your Blackboard will be personalized for your course. Go to this page and enter your college username and password to get access. You'll also become familiar with Panopto, a video capture system that lecturers use to record lectures and presentations, which you can access as part of your studies. Imperial has a free online streaming service called the Software Hub where you can access most software. You'll find a link at the end of this video to the guide that shows you how to use the Software Hub on your personal computer. As an Imperial student, you can download Microsoft Office 365 for free on up to five personal devices. You'll find lots of helpful videos on Office 365 in our ICT Support YouTube channel. Printing, scanning and photocopying services are available at all Imperial campuses. You can access these services using your college ID card. We've made two videos explaining how to use our college printers. We need you to take care to protect yourself and us when using our computers and devices. This will reduce the chances of your college or personal information being hacked. The easiest way to do this is to use secure passwords, avoid opening attachments from unknown sources and delete spam emails. For more information, visit the website and watch our short videos on how to set and remember passwords. And, if you're ever unsure of any communications you receive, you can contact the IT Help Desk for advice. So now you should have a pretty good idea of most of the IT resources that are available. You'll find more helpful ICT support videos on our YouTube channel. 
including a video that walks you through our compulsory online registration, which must be completed before you arrive. For more information, visit our website. We also have a Twitter account for status updates, latest IT news, and other helpful resources. Remember, if you do have a technical issue, we're always here to help. You can contact us online, on the phone, or in person using these contact details. We're open from 8.30am to 6pm, Monday to Friday.